Hello guys, this is Oxman gonna bring you a, another little uh, ah, video and this is about River Revive scripts. This is Lawrence Revive script. I will link this in the description and you can download it and use it. But give all credits to Lawrence. This is a very very complex script or it's a series of scripts as you can see. But you might think, oh this is not a ah, it's okay, it's not long, and then the Revive SQF, there's a shit load of stuff, which I will not go into, because that is too much. Uh, I will, however, tell you how to use this thing, and I don't have to do much. All I have to do is, basically, just uh, take all this, put it into the mission, except the mission, and, of course, the init needs to be implemented, and that is the init. Uh, you can put this in your own init, if you want, but... Um, basically, all you have to do is have the description, the init, and revive and those scripts. Description definitely checks out stuff. Let's see. And here you can have a number of revives and params. And uh, basically, well, if you host it, you'd be able to <coughs> check no revive infinite, uh, you know, 20. 10 or 7 or 5 and um, yeah that is good so basically uh, this is the example mission in the demo mission and uh, this is basically just go in shoot someone in the face and there you go you can revive him he will not die however we are going to see if it does work and it probably will so let's go into the game and um, check the map so we have a respawn uh, <clears throat> thing here, this ambulance I believe is the respawn, no there it is there's a start marker this can be a, if you don't want it to be seen you can do that but I believe it might be attached to this no, never mind. Um, so S1, you have to name these units I believe and S1, S2, S3, S4, S5 it's all the way so let's go into this preview and um, when I shoot someone Hopefully they AI won't shoot back, but I will kill them enough. And um, you can see that the uh, the script noticed that it's a single player mission. So oh, I'm going to tell my oh. guys to Roger. stop and I'm going to shoot you in the face. So. Check your fire. And he gets into a wounded mode. Shit. If you've seen this in the real game, or in the, <laughs> the normal game, no, the vanilla game, um, you'll know that this is a wounded... Uh, kind of, um, well, <laughs> way of being. Uh, I lost all my sense there. But still, uh, let's, go, let's get down. And now you can see something is vibrating. That's my Xbox and Shit. controller. And he can't die. Why can't you die? So, then we have a uh, drag body. And, oh, no. okay. And revive. Stop. <laughs> what the... Oh, whoa, what the hell's going on? Oh, we have enemies. Shit, Enemy. I have no idea. Rear, 100 meters. So, this guy is already up. I found out that you could... Oh, bollocks. So, this is what happens when you get shot. You are unconscious and are waiting to be revived. And this is the... Uh, well... This is the basically just the uh, thing you see. This is the remaining time in the center here. You can see revive time remaining. You have 300 seconds to get revived. So if I press start up here, I will respawn at start. Call for help. And you can... Oh, and the AI is even good enough to come and uh, call for... Help me. So that is very cool. Uh, did not know about that about the script, so oh, no. oh, obviously, engage. obviously we need to uh, I want to try and get this guy in single player mode you'd press yes. 6 and no that does not work so I have to do that revive myself but I want to drag him out of the way because I want, don't want to get shot again so revive oh, no. deploy mobile respawn, oh did I just... <laughs> oh, I d oh, and now I get it. Oh, This is a mobile respawn. This is where you respawn if you die. 
So I'm going to try and get killed. Where's the enemy? Who shot me? Does not matter. Let's throw a grenade. Where is it? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. What the? What? Fire in the hole. <laughs> God damn it. There we go. Yes, I died. <laughs> that was hard. So, oh, I can spawn them at the mobile instead of the start. So this marker that we had, the stop marker, would be placed then at the spawn. And then the mobile is obviously a variable that you know the player themselves add. So you can spawn at mobile. You have respawned at mobile. And I should be respawning soon. And yep, here I am at the mobile, and you can, um, that's where the, um, um, start marker is, and this is where the respawn is. So that's good, um, well we could place the start marker out here if we wanted to, and, um, yeah, oh we have people here, I had no idea. So let's try that out, and uh, I'll show you, that will be... Yeah, it for the survival thing because it's not uh, what Norrins have done is huge and it does help most players and it's you know it's kind of big. Why can't I always do deploy this thing? So speed up a little bit and get killed. Oh god damn it. Come on. There we go. So I want to spawn at um, stop. And speed up a little bit. And I'm out here. And if I would have respawned at mobile, I'll be respawning there. So that's pretty much it. Um, Norins, uh, thank you very much for making the script. This is very useful for people that want to have respawn. Boot hill. And, well, you can just merge this thing. Your, your, of course you have, you need to have these things here, that's already in uh, the game, obviously not the M13 ambulance and stuff, do not think that's necessary. The um, naming of units needs to be in, these markers needs to be in as well, and the game logic, and that can be found at game logic side, objects, game logic, and make it serve. So that's basically all you need to do. Um, when you merge missions, if you merge this mission, for example, with your mission, you always have to remember to move the scripts. And, um, well, remember to move everything except briefing and mission, SQM. If you do that, you'll erase your own mission, so uh, don't do that. So, um, that has been it for this. I do not think there's anything more I need to show you or explain. The mission is way too complex for me it's too much uh, uh too, well it's too much params and stuff it's a lot of information and Norris is very good um at making scripts obviously because he made this um so that is good so give all credit to the guy who made the script and uh, check that out in the description below and you'll have a link to how i downloaded this and um yeah hopefully you'll know how to add revives into your missions and um, if not uh, do PM me or comment below and I will definitely help you out uh, in a private conversation um, let's see please like the video and subscribe to my channel and you'll be seeing a lot more of these random scripts that's shown and explained and awesome so um, yeah that's all for this video. Ultimate out.